Yeah, today we got a pump that's humming. I just want to show you the sound. We're going to turn the breaker back on. And that's, uh, it'll start humming. And then you can hear the, the heater out might like almost like a kettle. So that's when you get a flow error, error and then you'll get uh, OHH because it's overheating. So it's still kind of heating some, sometimes. There's a sound there. So if you hear that, or OHH code, it could be tripping. Sometimes it does trip the breaker, but this one's not tripping. So it thinks it's heating. And earlier you could hear the in the element heating up. So I've tested the capacitor in the back, took the capacitor off, and I'm gonna put a new one in right there. I tested it, it was zero. So we have a, a video on here on our uh, channel, how to test a capacitor. So I'm gonna swap this out right now. Because sometimes you'll get that hum when the bearing is seized. Um, you can't move the shaft, so make sure you move, you get a, pair of pliers in there okay and if you can move it freely so if you can get in there uh, I just I did get it in there earlier Okay, here we go. So, there I can move it. So if you can move it freely, do the capacitor. If it, uh, that humming, um, if it does that, just look at, see if the seal's leaking. If the seal's leaking, this one is leaking a bit. Um, it's probably your bearing if you can't move the shaft, and that's why it's humming like that. But on this, bearing move, or the shaft moves freely, so I know it's the capacitor, well, most likely uh, culprit. So we're gonna swap that out and we'll see what happens. So I took the pump out. It's a uh, stay right ultra jet. Now that was just, I changed the capacitor, tested it, it was dead. Um, this is the run capacitor. There's one in the back that's a uh, start capacitor. So not every pump has both capacitors. Normally you just have the, the run capacitor. So this one had the start. So I tested that one. That one fried too. So what had happened was the seal, the seal was leaking back into the bearing. Bearings kind of seized a bit. I'm going to change the bearing. Yeah, I thought it was moving, but just a little bit. But it's rough. So, again, so it was, the seal failed, leaked back on the bearing. Bearing started failing. And then just burnt out the capacitors. So each each situation is different. Like you might have one problem or one or two, but not this many usually. And then I broke the impeller when I took it off. So there's the I got to get that off. So usually a heat gun goes on that or a torch. You can torch that off.
So we got that the stay right pump back in. And we're just uh, filling it right now. So we're going to start it next and see what it does. Okay, we turned the power back on. Set the temperature. There we go. Sounds so much better. That's it. Now, if this helped you out at all, or if you have any other questions, just uh, Send us a message down below. Um, now, the change of bearing and uh, all the testing of capacitor and stuff like that, we have other videos that you can check out. I'll link it on the end here. So, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.